Now the first thing you got to see is what I built so that I could do this properly. I built this platform out of plywood. I'm putting this little rug over it to give me a little bit of cushion. Okay, so the things we've got to take off in here, we've got to undo these, these uh, zip ties, take all that out, and then be able to get down in there. You got to remember what you're doing, photograph it, video it, so you know which way, you, you know, what things went where. I okay, so this is the one where you push, push down, push down right here, push and pull out. I've already undone it, so that's it. That's number one. Then you've got another big one right here. And this one is a lift up. So now we've got some over here. We've got this one right here. And then we've got that one right there. This one is also one that you lift your fingernail in and lift up and it pulls out. All right, I'm just going to tell you how I did it. And I know it's out of focus. All right, now I've got them all removed. Remove the oil, remove a couple of these wires, remove these wires out of the way, just move them. Move them out of the way. Bend this one out of the way. So now we're getting deeper and deeper into the hole. That silver bell housing, that is the thermostat. You can see that there's not a lot of room here. So one, two, this is three, four, this catalytic converter cover with the exhaust was removed just lift it up it's attached a couple of points here this is the catalytic converter my thumb is this is uh these wires right here, these are your positive and negative battery cables. This is what my thermostat housing looks like. Now there's some, by pulling it up, some of that loose stuff that's in there dropped in. And I'm not moving this, I'm gonna actually shake it out. I'm actually gonna go grab my vac and vac it out if I can. That's it. So this boat has been washed, washed down. This boat has been out in the water I've been now 200, a little bit more than 200 times in the last almost five years, four and a half years. This is what it looks like every time I take the boat out and I bring it back to the you know, to wash it up. I run a salt away or salt eliminator. I'm a salt eliminator user, and this is what it looks like on the inside of your your water uh, your water passages into the thermostat. So let's pull the thermostat now. Okay, the thermostat is right there, and you can see it, I had to pop it out with, I had to pop it out with a screwdriver.
Okay, so right down there is the the cavity where the thermostat goes in. I'm lying across the engine, looking down, and that little pointy thing is one of my screwdrivers that I've had for years that I put a point to for just occasions like this. So I soaked, uh, gently soaked with some um, solvent, all that calcium buildup, all that salt buildup, that corrosion, and I'm using the point of that thing to just break it loose so I can put the thermostat back in cleanly. All right, just before I put this back together, I've decided to pull the, the bell housing, the thermostat housing out of the hose, and this is what I found. It's really coated with a lot of uh, salt debris. So I'm gonna clean this up. So this is what it looks like inside the tube. Inside, this is, so if this is looking like this, then what does the hose itself look like, right? That's be the next question. But notice on the inside, we're clean. So this just must be an accumulation of junk that gets brought in, you know, the, the hose is clamped right here and the water just comes in here and then dries up. You know, almost five years, this is five years of being in salt water and all the water collecting here and drying off and leaving these deposits. I'm expecting the hose to look pretty grody right in there, but on the inside of the hose, I don't expect it to be you know, down deeper, I don't expect to have a whole lot of this stuff. Let's look. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we've got a bunch of gunk down there, but as I thought, it doesn't go past the fitting, you know, the fitting flange. So I'm gonna wet this up and clean it out, clean off the, uh, the housing as well and get this back together. All right, that looks, that's looking pretty clean now. Okay, I was able to get a lot of that out of there, and if any fell, I shook it. I was able to pull this out and shake it upside down and get any loose out of there. Still going to try and get that last little bit. All right, so here's the new parts. Thermostat. Okay, you can see it says 60C. C for Celsius. That's when it's supposed to open. Hundred and ten. Houston, we have lift off. Well, let me just say that that was a lot easier getting it back on than it is getting it off. Wow, so much easier. Something I just learned. Um, not only to disconnect all the, uh, what do you call it? The cables and lift up the back, um, the shield from the catalytic converter, but also take off the hose leading to the uh, thermostat housing that made it so much easier. Easy to get back on. It's such a blind, it's such a blind, you know, you're going under the everything to get to it. And it's counterintuitive and you do need to have I would recommend either a half moon 10 millimeter or I'm using an S curve 10 millimeter at this time to get everything together. And of course, glasses, man. Anyway, now it's just a matter of buttoning everything back up and we should be good to go and get to the O2 sensor next. Stay tuned.